Note the VFD series and verify correct voltage rating. Do not use startup assist. Once everything is ready power up the drive. If the drive mode is in auto or hand, be sure to turn it off. Else you will be locked out from changing some parameters. Now enter menu, parameters, group 99 and find parameter 9902. Change parameter 9902 from HVAC to supply fan. Save, exit and then wait approximately 2 minutes. Return to parameter 9902 and change it back to HVAC. The drive will now reset all background parameters for the HVAC application. Now find your unit VFD series, unit model, voltage and motor part number in the parameter table and highlight that row of data. The top row of the spreadsheet table lists the parameter name and number. Your highlighted row of data is the value specific to your unit specifications that you will use to enter into each parameter above. Now go back to parameters, enter group 99 to find parameter 9905 and set your unit voltage. It is recommended to set your voltage to what you read on site with your meter. After changing any parameter make sure to press save. Move on to parameter 9906 and set the value from the table for your specific unit. Then verify that parameter 9907 is 60 Hz and parameter 9908 is the value in the table. Set parameter 9909 for the horsepower rating of your motor. Now exit back to parameter groups and enter group 12 to find parameter 1201 and select digital input 2 and 3. Be careful not to select the inverse option for this parameter. Now set parameter 1202 for 40 Hz. Note that a long key press will move the decimal to the left to speed up value changes. Now set parameter 1203 and parameter 1204 to 60 Hz. Now exit back to parameter groups and enter group 14 to find parameter 1401 and select the relay out function. Note that newer ACS320 drives no longer have the relay so this must be set to not selected, else an alarm is generated. Now exit back to parameter groups and enter group 20 to find parameter 2003 and set that for the value listed in the table for your specific unit. Now move on to parameter 2007 and confirm it is set for 0 Hz and that parameter 2008 is set for 60 Hz. Now exit to parameter groups and enter group 26 to find parameter 2606 to confirm that it is set for 4 kHz. Now exit back to parameter groups and select group 21 to find parameter 2101. And set that one to auto. Now set parameter 2102 to coast. Now exit back to parameter groups and find parameter 2201 and confirm that it is set for not selected, then confirm that parameters 2202 and 2203 are set for 30 seconds. That concludes all of the parameters. Now exit parameters and select parameter backup. Here you can upload the parameters to the keypad panel to save for future use or to copy these parameters over to another drive. Now you will need to set the drive mode to auto. Then cycle off the power until it goes blank then power up again to confirm that the drive starts in auto.
Now you can test the drive by sending only a thermostat G signal to verify the drive commands 40 Hz. Then send a thermostat Y2 or W1 signal to verify that the drive ramps up to 60 Hz. The drive is now set up for use.